This is the best organization. I, I absolutely love it. I am so proud of Mr. LeBlanc for starting it, and it has helped so many people that I have referred. I am so proud to be a part. I met Patrick LeBlanc in April. I was enamored by his passion, his love for the community. I would not have missed this for the world. Thanks, Patrick, for inviting us. Came out to support the cause of mental health, uh, supporting my Aunt Carmen. Uh, our family came out, brought my son with me so we could get this walk in and help the cause. My name is Keith Police from Food RD 105.7. So excited to be a part of the Bridging the Gap Walk. I come prepared I to you, walk. He I told me. I my boots and my shop. The Louisiana country. Boat. I am here with my boots <laughs> and my shop. Hey, say hey. Hey, everybody. We're here with Bridget the Gap Foundation, raising money for mental health. So come out next year. <laughs> All right, so my name is Lisa Vernon, and I am a licensed social worker with Marlo Joy Solutions. This is one of my incredible moms who just got off work, and we never met until today face-to-face. -face. We've been virtual this whole time for the last three months. I say it's been fabulous. You know, you guys don't call me a lot of stuff. I may not know all of you, but I thank God for you. You are such a blessing to me. Y'all kept me medway and my head's on my shoulders. I can walk out of comfort zone and know I'm Thank just fine. Thank Bridging the Gap Foundation for this opportunity. Metro Care cares, and we are so happy to be a proud sponsor of this inaugural walk event. Thank you for all that you do for those who are experiencing mental health challenges in our community. Bridging the Gap. I'm really glad to be at the walk today. It's the first annual Bridging the Gap walk. Um, and it's a really wonderful thing to raise money for the organization, but also to kind of symbolically kind of kind of bridge the gap between the north and south parts of Dallas to kind of shine the light on the importance of everybody having equal access to mental health care. So glad to be here today with my wife, Tony, and yeah, thank you.